Okay, so I'm going to show you how to modify the Mobius Action Cam in order to take good insect videos. So this is what the cam looks like from the factory. I put some Velcro on it. But all I do is you, I loosen these screws here, take them out, and then the top pops off. Now I've already done some modifications here. I put tape. This is a double-sided tape behind here. And I put electrical tape on it so that it doesn't get uh, dirty and gummy and it doesn't stick to things. So that keeps everything clean. And I've also made some marks here. I'll tell you about those later. So from the factory, the Mobius, the, the lens is inside the case. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're just going to pry up the lens and there's a, a, a slot that sits forward. There's two slots, actually. We're going to put that in the forward slot. And you see how that fits, that slides in there? I'm going to put that in the forward slot. And then uh, that allows us to focus. See, and now, now we can twist this. We can focus this. Now, in order to focus, you're going to have to use this tool that came with it and loosen this hex screw. And don't take it all the way out because it'll be hard to get back in. Just loosen it so you can focus. Now, I've put some marks on here that allow me to uh, tell how far I need to hold the camera from a subject. This pink mark right here is about one inch away. Okay, and if I turn it this way, that little mark is about three inches distant from the subject to be in focus. This is about five inches, and that is factory settings, so that's about two feet to infinity. So you can see that with just one, with not even one revolution of the lens, you can go from one inch focus all the way out to infinity. Now these other two marks I've made here are for extremely close uh, settings like half inch focus or you know half centimeter focus for extremely close up macro settings. I don't use those in the field because it's impossible to judge the distance and it's impossible to hold hold the, the camera steady enough. So I'm usually filming between one inch, uh, three inches, five inches, and infinity. Actually, one inch is my standard. So anyway, once you get that into the front slot, just get a rubber band and put it over it to keep the to keep it in place. And what I like to do is I like to put the rubber band right over the button here. So just by feeling, I can press the standby button. The same thing goes for the battery. You can double it up if you want. Okay. So this is the on-off button, and, and this is the standby button here. So that way it makes it so you can just focus when you want, change focus quickly. Okay, that's two inches. Do your, uh, your filming back to one inch. And then do your filming like this. And you can see, if you practice, you'll be able to get the angle almost perfectly. Uh, you'll get the distance, rather. you got to hold your head at a distance, at, at, a, at the proper angle. And then with the, with the rubber bands, you just click. Without even looking, you just know this is the on-off button. And you move in. You click it, you see your subject, and you start filming. And then you just click it off. 
or click standby and uh, you're good to go. Before I go out into the field to photograph insects, I like to wrap my camera in plastic. This adds a little bit more protection to it in case there's dew drops or raindrops hanging off of leaves or just in case something falls in. So just modify a little plastic bag or something, put it in there and then make sure it's snug and then wrap the rubber bands around that. And then put the other one on top if you want. It, add, it adds a little bit of bulk and it adds some noise actually if you're not careful to the to the filming, but it does protect the camera. I mean if rain were to fall onto this or or some other junk or something, dirt, it would be fairly well protected, especially if you hold the camera up like this. The rain would just, or the moisture would just run off of it. And so it would be fairly well protected. I think that's a good trade-off, and it gives me a little bit more peace of mind when I'm out in the field if this is wrapped in plastic like this. Okay, I want to show you how I calibrate the Mobius Action Cam in order to determine how far away uh, the focus is and where I need to put my marks. What I do is I just plug it in to the USB and you'll see this is Windows XP. Uh, you click the top button after it gets through uh, loading as a removable disk you see here. You click the top button, and it should appear as a USB video device, which it did. Okay, so you just double click on that. Okay, and there you have the live video feed on your computer. So I've got this, I've already got this calibrated, I'm just showing you how. So what you do, you just get an object and you focus on it, okay, and you look at from the side how far that is. That's about, you know, two and a half centimeters or one inch. And that's, that's a pretty good start for filming insects. And it looks like that's in pretty good focus right there. So I would make a mark right there, that's one inch. And then you bring it back a little bit. That is my mark for about two, inch, two and a half inches. So you just hold it until it looks in good focus. Look back. Okay, and then you do the same for five inches. Now you'll you'll find that the more that the closer it, the focus is, the less leeway you have for motion. I mean, when it's at one inch, you've got to be pretty exact. You can't shake any, or it'll, or it'll go out of focus. Three inches, and you've got a lot better leeway. You can move it a lot; it'll still be in focus. Five inches, even more so. You can move it a lot and it'll still be in focus. And infinity, it'll, it'll focus, it'll, it'll look perfectly in focus from about two feet all the way out to infinity. So like I say, just get some uh, fingernail polish, make your marks, make sure you can distinguish the marks. You know, one one of mine is a little dot. One of mine is a little, another one is a little bar, and the other one I did in a completely different color. And that's my default, my one inch one inch default. And if you practice, if you practice holding, looking at this with at an angle, you'll you'll become very 
very good at judging the distance between you and your between the camera and your subject and you'll get very adept at photographing these insects okay thank you for watching and happy insect hunting <laughs>